coming to the Miami Open since it was called the Lipton. And this is my first time though uh, at the Miami Open at the Hard Rock Stadium. Um, looks like much easier place to get to. It's right off the turnpike, very easy in and out parking. But $35 to park in, base, in the basic lot. And that's if you have a sun pass. It was $40 if you just paid by credit card. Uh, however, it looks like you could uh, prepay on Ticketmaster for $25. So I neglected to do that. So still $25, $35, or $40 to park. Pretty crazy. So we're, uh, we're here on Tuesday, the men's fourth round, women's quarterfinal. Here we go. of not getting uh, tickets ahead of time, you can actually save yourself the Ticketmaster fees. My ticket price was $53 for a pretty nice seat in the stadium uh, here on the fourth round day. And um, if I would have bought them online, I would have had $13 extra to pay for the Ticketmaster fees, but there were no extra fees here. Uh, so they still sent it to my phone and everything. Pretty nice. Waited about 10 minutes in line here for a ticket. security but uh that's gonna cost you four or five dollars in here so i'll probably spend another uh some money on an extra bottle of water at some point but at least i got a nice cold one to start the day with and uh, a few more bucks in my pocket so behind me is the uh, grandstand court the gondola ride some other extra side courts some practice courts all outside the main stadium and i'm actually about to walk into the main stadium where the miami dolphins typically play but there's a stadium tennis court inside there we're going to check it out Dan Marino, welcoming everybody to the tennis event. There's the gondolas. Crazy here. <laughs> 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 
$14 burger, hey, it could be worse. Yeah. At least you get 100% beef. Um, All right, we are uh, hopping up on the gondola here. Uh, it's a glass bottom gondola. Oh, really? At the Miami Open. We're gonna go over some, uh, you the grandstand? some tennis matches here. Look at that, we got tennis courts. And behind me, there's the restaurant and bar. And oh, I see where you are. The Hard Rock, right. the Hard yeah. Rock uh, Stadium. Off in the distance, we have probably North Miami Beach. Looking at. practice courts, I assume, or actually those are the practice courts out there. These are just some small early round match courts. Alright, so we've got, this is the Formula One race that's going to track here. It's going to be here, I think, at the end of May. And here's a grandstand for it. tennis player Coco Goff practicing out here. Um, if you're playing her, if you're one of her opponents, I've got some uh, secret footage from the gondola. Richard Williams, you want this secret footage? All right, Max, what do you think about the Miami Open with these gondolas and everything? It's very unique. I incorporate a lot of new technology in this tennis tournament. Uh, what do you think about the tennis matches you saw today? The tennis match is good. It was, uh, the tennis is always very entertaining to watch. When it gets upset in the way he plays. Uh, yeah, he's, he's a little fiery. Sinner is an upcoming tennis player. Alright, well this is, a, this is a whole brand new Miami Open. Uh, my first time here at the Hard Rock Stadium. I just like to call it Joe Robbie. So, Joe Robbie Stadium, all new, and we've got tennis everywhere here, from above and the ground. Okay, it was a great day at the Miami Open. I want to say I was in level 200s, and uh, they actually have coolers full of water that's included with your ticket. You just go up and grab it. Otherwise, these are five dollars. So, uh, we discovered that luckily right before I was going to buy a water. Uh, so that's a good uh, little hint. And um, yeah, look, I got here at about uh, 11 a.m. this morning and uh, leave at about 4 p.m. because I have some business to attend to in Miami. Um, so five hours of tennis, not too bad. And welcome to Miami. That's a perfect way to close this one out.